So these are the fabled headquarters of the Scions. I confess I would have expected an order of self-proclaimed warrior scholars to surround themselves with the fruits of man's enlightenment. And yet there's not so much as a single piece of Magitek in sight. It never ceases to amaze me how primitive you Eorzeans truly are. Oh, I'll have you know that the Rising Stones is home to the very latest in Magitek innovation. Wedge calls it the Mark XIV Thermocoil Boilmaster, and it's the finest kettle I've ever had the pleasure to own. We are returned. Well, Ida and I, at least. Ishtola and the others remain behind to continue their assessment of the binding magic. There didn't seem much point staying just for that, so I decided to come back with Alphano. Papalimo bought us this time. We shouldn't waste it. By your leave! Gods, that voice could fell a gigas. This is the Rising Stones, domicile of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. I enter at the invitation of one Lord Urionge. <laughs> I spy you there, Shadow Walker. You always were a hard one to find. Yugiri, do you know this man? Gosetsu! Why are you come to Eorzea? In search of you, Yugiri! For days and nights did I row across the angry sea. I made port in good spirits, he barely collapsed in the street like an unfed stray I was, until Lord Urionge came to my aid. Over a most welcome meal, we spoke of the plight of Doma. And I learned of our displaced countrymen's work to resettle this blighted land. T'was blind fortune that I was able to locate you so swiftly. But now we must make ready to depart. Our master languishes in dire peril, and Doma calls her daughter home. It is not so simple, Gozetsu. There are obligations which bind me here. You... you refuse? Did you mislay your oath during your flight from our homeland? The laws of hospitality must be honored, but surely the vow to defend your master demands the greater obeisance. It was our master who bid me guide our people to safe haven by any means necessary. And it was the Scions you see before you who provided us succor and sanctuary when all others refused. Dire peril or no, were I to return without first repaying such hospitality, our master would cut me down at the threshold. Hmm. Mayhap that is so. There is more. A crisis threatens all within this realm, Eorzean and Doman alike, and I go to play my part in its resolution. I will not bring shame upon our liege by abandoning my people or my duty. Hmm, how very noble of you. Now, in the name of honor, kinship, and, ah oh yes, practicality, might I suggest we get this expedition underway? 
Or would you rather debate the finer points of duty and leave Omega to the Empire? The Empire? You, Giddy? You draw steel against the curs of Gollumold? Then why did you not say so? My blade is oath-bound to fall upon the ranks of the Imperials wheresoever they march. Lead on, Shadow Walker, and may the enemy tremble at our coming.